process of doing my PhD research, I suddenly found myself becoming an adventurer, an explorer. Outside of Misol, there are only about 10 of these jellyfish lakes worldwide. Jellyfish lakes are particularly difficult to get to. These lakes in Misol were formed 20,000 years ago. They're clearly defined barriers, allows us to study questions about evolution and speciation. Once we found where the lakes were, we had to search for an entryway. That was definitely not easy. Here, you can pass it to me here. One more. All right. We have all our marine biology equipment, which we have to schlep through the jungle, making certain we also just don't fall and hurt ourselves. You OK there? All right. All right, hold on. But having such a difficult entry just makes the lake even more rewarding. Oh, wow. Beautiful. It kind of looks like it's raining, yeah. but actually those are just the jellyfish bumping against the surface. Oh, wow. We should go swim out to there. In the sea, everything is connected. What's cool about marine lakes is that we have a really clearly defined little bit of sea that's isolated. We can actually get a sense of how species change through time. Marine lakes are giant natural laboratories of evolution. Aside from jellyfish, there are lots of colorful and beautiful sponges. Every time I go to a lake, I find that half the species are new to science. We're seeing the first stages of populations becoming new species. Biodiversity fascinates me. How many species there are, how they're formed, how we can protect them. From a very young age, I was really passionate about the sea. I feel very lucky to do this research. Being a marine biologist, it's just so much fun.